Yeah, I really want to bring the heat today, and I don't like getting beat by these guys by no means. Definitely, it's uh, like a dream from an European to race here in Glen Allen. There's rocks out there. You go out in the woods and there's logs and these kids are scared of it. Back in the hunt, baby. Back in the hunt. We're here for Works Racing, brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. It's round seven and eight. Round seven going down Saturday, round eight going down Sunday. Going to be interesting. What's going to be more interesting is this Rock Pro section behind us. We've used this a few times in the past, but we're going to make it way harder by putting all these barriers up against the K rails, some T posts over there, maybe some extra barriers, keeping guys over these big round rocks and you know, testing their skill a little bit. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I went in the last race. It was super close between Dante and I. So definitely a little bit confidence boost coming off of that one. And, um, you know, I think that's good going into this race because this, this is going to be a super important weekend with two rounds back to back. Uh, a lot of points to be made this weekend. I really just want to go out there and get some good starts, try and stay in front of the dust. Uh, unless we get some rain tonight, which would be a miracle because that was probably one of the best races ever was when it poured here in 2019. That was honestly like one of my favorite races. <laughs> but uh, no, I know that's probably not going to happen. So just get a good start. You know, hopefully Dante and I have a clean, fun race, and uh, yeah, ideally come out on top both days. You know, it was an awesome race that started out to be an awesome race last week, or two weekends ago, or whatever. Went for an hour and a half, or hour 15 battle with Taylor, duking it hard, and uh, was looking up to be a good race, and then he sort of pulled away there at the end and uh, took over the points lead again, so now I got to hammer down this weekend and uh, get back in the hunt so we can finish out this thing strong. Work, uh, work's uh, race was good. I take fourth and uh, every time I'm getting closer to the top guys, so pretty happy and uh, still work, try to work hard and, and uh, try to make uh, some more podium before the end of the year. Try to make up those points. I, uh, I'm actually feeling super good, a lot, a lot better than people, what people are thinking, I think, uh, for the injury I had in the short period of time, and I'm already back on the bike, but I'm feeling good. Rode twice before this race, and I'm uh, just ready to go. Just did practice, and I'm, uh, I'm feeling super good and ready to do what I do.
hunt, baby. Back in the hunt. <laughs> I saw you swap leads some four times, three or four times, man. Yeah, that was an exciting one. Back and forth, back and forth. It was sweet. We, the rocks were a huge factor in this race, holding each other up. But uh, that was good. Hollywood, how are you feeling after taking that win? I feel like it. Hollywood, um, actor. <laughs> how was it out there? That was good. I made up a lot of time in the rocks, which I just had to be calm in and then just do whatever on the fast stuff. The rock section really pushed you ahead. You got through there pretty quick. Yeah, did thanks to my brother for making me do um, enduro cross motos with him. They paid off. Tanner! And Jocko comes in second. I look for a good result today, you know, the team's put a lot of work into this, my family's put a lot of work into this, and myself, so it's, uh, to have, a, I mean, I rode great, it's just, to have a result like yesterday is very frustrating, and, uh, yeah, I look, look forward to redemption today, which is, it's great when, it's great to have a double header, so when you're like mad, you don't have to wait like so long to go racing again, you know, like I like racing pretty close together, that's fun, so you can kind of like put all your anger into the next day and like come out swinging hopefully and be good. I'm Avis Westry, I race for Pervines Racing, uh, I race in the women's pro class. Uh, this year, still going, honestly, not how I want it to be going, but it's get, getting better towards the end of it, but I'm hoping for a better year next year. And I mean, obviously this is a big learning year for me because being 17 and being the youngest in the class, it's obviously you've got to take time. You can't just expect to be on top right at the beginning. So I'm taking it slow and hoping for the best. You know, I had a great jump on the start. Just kind of got out, pulled a little bit, ended up kind of being mid pack by the time we got to the rocks and the traffic jam in the rocks, kind of the, the standard way to go with uh, that whole class you know everybody in that race was struggling and uh, just needed to be patient be smart take a breath try not to you know just go through it as quick as possible just you needed to be as smart for that one and uh, eventually I ended up getting around rider and get myself in a third place and I started to make up some time on the, the top two guys but uh, on the last lap I had a issue with a quarter lap left and uh, had a bike problem ended up having a DNF so Fortunately, it's kind of the, the stuff that happens with racing, and uh, fortunately, I have another bike, so we go for today's round, and I think I can turn it around. I, I feel like I can come out and do a good job.
remembered our leaders, Taylor Robert and Angus Reardon, as they both have to settle for a restart coming up next. But it was getting everybody, and that, that's what off-road's about, is being challenged, and it's not a moto race. You didn't make it in moto, that's why you're here. You're racing off-road, so, and if you go out in the desert, there's rocks out there. You go out in the woods, and there's logs, and these kids are scared of it. And it's really bullshit now, because it's, it's ruining off-road. They're just turning it into a really long moto race, and it, I, I'm not stoked about it at all. I know the series is trying to make it, so it's real off-road. It's literally World Off-Road Race Series, or whatever it is, works. And we're not even doing off-road shit because these kids can't handle it. So we had to restart the race, and then it was just who can hold the bike fastest. Wide open straightaways. There's, there's nothing out there. It's just bumps. GP, so it was a good, and I'm hyped to redeem myself from yesterday, and uh, stoked I got a finally got a work split. In. It's been a long time. I think Pro 2, like 2010, 2011 is the last time I won in work, so I'm hyped. Congratulations. Oh. 